Wi-Fi remote control switch. This project involves sending data wirelessly worldwide, through the internet, with Google Firebase server, serving as the central hub. Data transmission can be done, between Internet of Things devices, such as ESP8266 or ESP32 or any other Wi-Fi supportive device. This Wi-Fi remote control project, consists of three steps. Physical layer, network layer, and application layer. In this project, we have created a homemade PCB. You can access the image files of the circuit diagram, and the PCB design, through the link provided in the description. Carefully install all the components, on the PCB. In this Wi-Fi remote control switch, we will make two-way data transmission between ESP32 and Android. First, commands are sent by an Android device, from anywhere in the world, to the Google Firebase real-time database server. The command data is consistently available, to be read by any ESP32 Wi-Fi connected device, from any part of the world. Based on the command data, the ESP32 device can make various decisions, such as turning on a relay, an LED, or any other connected component to its input-output port. After performing a task, the ESP32 device also sends feedback to the Android device through the Google server. The Android device reads the feedback from the server and updates the status of a task on its app. At the core of our hardware is the ESP32 Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. It is a versatile microcontroller that combines Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Arduino support in a single chip. Equipped with numerous ADC channels and GPIOs, we can effortlessly connect a variety of sensors and output devices. With this chip, we can gather data, from connected sensors, and transmit it in real time, over the internet to any location, worldwide. Now it's time, to program the software into the ESP32. Before connecting the device to the laptop, please press and hold the flash button. Keep the button pressed, until you see the green LED turn on. Now upload the software into the ESP32. Simply Simply copy all the code from the description section, or follow the link provided. Paste the software code into the ESP32. Now you have the device ready to work. Connect the load to the Wi-Fi remote control switch. Provide a 5 volt supply to the Wi-Fi switch. Turn on the Wi-Fi remote control app. The feedback mechanism, is a crucial feature in this project. It confirms whether,
the device we are operating remotely, is actually working or not. For instance, if we want to turn on a switch, we press a button on the Android app, and wait for the feedback to confirm the operation. Following these steps, we'll set up your Firebase project, configure the real-time database, obtain the necessary credentials, and integrate them into your ESP32 code, for communication with the Firebase server. This Wi-Fi remote control switch, is versatile, allowing you to control various electrical devices such as light bulbs, motors, safety alarms, and more. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to comment in the comment section.